super super nice getting to this point has made me really really excited about this project again at this point of the upgrade i feel this rivals any four five six seven thousand eight thousand dollar plasma machine that you can get out there this has a touch screen that has modern mach 3 inside of it that you can use fusion 360 or sheet cam or anything hey guys it's vince today in this video you saw the prerequisite to the video the opening content creator explained that the plasma system he has rivals that of many multi thousand dollar systems and i want you to be the judge so what we're going to do is i want to let you know the channel is called the prestige manufacturing 11,000 views after one month 17.2 thousand subs we'll let him explain the retrofit he's performing on a single arm plasma system many of you have seen these coming over from china and we'll just break down the video as briefly but as detailed as possible to make sure everyone understands the gravity of what you're watching and here's the control card in the back of the screen. So as you can see, this card is almost exact. See that card he's planning on swapping out? I'm gonna let it play so you can hear him say it. That is USB universal serial bus. Once again, has no place in CNC, let alone a retrofit on a plasma system, which out of all CNC genre robots is the most susceptible to EMI. I've said this in tons of videos. But once again, we'll let him finish. Exactly the same as the card that I plan on using. Here's the pulse and direction. And on here, it's the same. You see same. it's got P and it's got D, pulse and direction. So I just need to get these wires and figure out which one's in this ribbon cable. I love how honest he is. And I have to really call that out in this video. This gentleman is extremely honest in the fact that he essentially openly admits to not knowing what most of the leads are most of the connections are confuses servos with steppers you'll see let's go this we'll play it from here so you guys can see inside the controller and this is the torch high controller so i'll get rid of that this also leaves a lot of area in here if we need to add something what's really crazy in this whole thing is the drivers for these little servos are all built onto one board and it's one little small board now of course these are not servos guys these are steppers okay but let's continue with more important portions of the video. So now when I hit reset, sorry, it's pretty light in here, but when I hit reset, the light goes solid. So you know it's communicating. So now one of these, uh, what do I have that in? X. So if I go left and right on the keyboard, it should move. So I also turned on the power to this device. So let's see if we device, hear anything. Device, not controller, the device. What? What do you guys think of this? Let me clue you in on something, because many of you are looking in the background, and I hope you are. This gentleman is not working in a conventional shop. Therefore, it does not have solid walls. And I'll say that again. He is working in a tent. In this video, I set out to build the cheapest building I can for my CNC machine shop. Will I succeed, or will the building be a catastrophic failure? The other, got some rock inside, about five inches. So I have to put a little bit more and level it out. Got my power installed, dug ditches. Uh, for that power, dug a drain that was four foot deep all the way around the building, comes up. That is essentially what this gentleman is working in. And I want you to pay close attention to details because details are everything. That this gentleman also has a floor made of dirt. He actually has grass growing within this facility, if you want to call it that. So as we see here, the controller being dissected, all of you should be asking yourself, what does this gentleman intend to do with this system? That's what you should be asking yourself. I don't know if you guys can hear it over my fans running, but oh man, it's moving. You see the gear down there? There it goes one way and the other. Hey guys, jump over to eDealers Direct Automation and check out my eBay store for the components used to make what you see in this video, as well as many others that you may not even realize you need. Of course, I'm always there if you have questions, message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, I do do custom engineering as well as consultations. Thank you for watching this video and your support. Take care. Now this is interesting because many guys ask me about questions dealing with systems coming from China. This essentially shows you what the Chinese do. The Chinese are horrible with grounding, horrible with shielding, horrible with filtering EMI in any capacity, especially on ultra cheap CNC plasma systems. However, they are not bad at building a system that is presented well. And when I say that to the end user who is a novice or to someone just looking at this equipment to get involved, it always looks nice and clean. We can all attest to that. This system 
structurally built, as far as being screwed together, connections being done to the novice, it looks great. To the person who's educated in this genre, they understand they're selling a time bomb. And then when it gets in another individual's hands who sees opportunity to make money, we'll see what happens. No way. It was that easy. Questions about the tent? Hmm? Okay, let's continue. Here is, I'm setting up this portion briefly, this gentleman going through and performing the retrofit in what he classifies as adding components to this system so that he can finalize this retrofit, making it appealing. You'll see for who. Also transferred all the information that I have in here for Mach 3 to this Microsoft Surface tablet. It's a Microsoft Surface Pro 12 inch tablet. So everything is identical inside tablet. of here. So it's all touch screen. You go through all the screens here, do whatever you need to do. And it did come with this uh, magnetic now, keyboard, but I took it off. Is anyone paying attention to this giant fan right here? Because maybe it's just me, I don't know. We're looking at a dust and dirt filled ground inside this gentleman's tent. When I said there was grass, you can see it right there. I don't know if he turns this fan on. All I'm going to say is this. It's virtually, it is impossible to actually have your equipment be clean in any capacity when your entire ground that you're setting this precision equipment on is dirt. This is something you guys are seeing. But I want you to see it because, again, if it's not videoed, it didn't happen. You can see exactly what we have here. Check it out. How crazy is that? Pretty crazy. Wow, nice and smooth too, man. Actually way smoother than the controls that were on there. Now, without a plasma system mounted to this chassis, you really have nothing. And this I want to highlight again, because many of you already know, what we're seeing this machine do right now is simply move. It is not performing the task it was designed for, and therefore, it is not considered a robot for production. Do not confuse movement ever with a production robot. Movement simply means your access are doing what they're told to do in terms of control. That control can be easily mitigated with EMI once we install the plasma torch and once that torch fires and pulls the massive amount of amps it will do and you will find what you are left with. So let's continue. Listen carefully to what this gentleman says. Okay guys, after a lot of time and a lot of effort, I finally got it complete and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. It's awesome. Before I do, I just wanna let you know, I will be selling this machine. This machine will be for sale in a link below or in my support store below. What I'm- Hold on, let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry, right here. Here you guys go. Was I lying about the grass in the shop? $2,500 he wants for this thing. Okay? No grounding. No double shielded cables even discussed. No shielding discussed. The entire controller is coated. So it would have to all be removed so we can implement proper grounding. I'll put everything on screen. There's nothing here to lie. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Okay? This gentleman wants $2,500 working out of a literal tent fabricating this type of precision equipment that hopefully will be sold to one of you in his audience or my audience or anywhere else on YouTube. How many think this is viable? But wait, it doesn't stop here. And what I want you to understand is a channel like this, this gentleman has more equipment he's working on to do. And the question I leave all of you in the next video, I'm putting it on screen here. He's using the same breakout board on a full scale mill and he's showing how cheap and easy it is to do a conversion on this system. And of course, then my question to all of you, what do you think he's going to do with that? You think he's building a machine shop? Because that's what he says. To make it very clear, he shows a video on this channel of him fabricating this tent and whatever you want to call it. I call it a tent because, again, it has fabric. What we're looking at here is factual. 
This was filmed. Not only is it filmed, it's consistent. It's consistent in the fact that the content he produces is equipment he's importing from China in some capacity. He doesn't cover every machine being sold, but if one is being sold, are we to believe that he's not selling others? Wouldn't make sense. So now that you guys see this, I'm curious as to what you think. This is where exposing the truth comes out.